What's up, Pisces? So I just did a reading um, for y'all. And it was the one posted before this. So if you are seeing this and you're like, what fucking reading? Then bitch, go back to my goddamn page and, and see the reading before this. <laughs> um, this reading is going to be a follow-up, an extended, I guess, is what you would call it, to this person in your past that you are waiting to come back um, that has not shown. This is someone that you've been waiting for years. This is not going to be months or weeks or days. This has been years, anywhere from two to five years, okay? Um, and this person has not come back, and I'm going to, and I've already said in the other reading, they're not going to come back. I'm not going to take these because I'm just trying to shuffle right now. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's just, all right, fine, I'll take it. So this is the Ace of Swords. A truth, a truth that is coming in. A truth that is coming in. A truth about this emperor. Watch the previous reading because it ended with this motherfucker right here and me telling you why you shouldn't be going back to him. And now we're going to follow up on why you shouldn't be going back to them. And also, well, not the whys, but what's coming next, okay? What's coming next after this? Because this is not, this person is not meant for you. Your ancestors, your spirit guides, your angels, your deities, they don't want... Your love is never going to be something toxic, abusive, hurtful, neglectful, okay? None of those things, okay? It's just not, you're not meant to be with anyone like that. So if you think, oh my gosh, I'm reading, I'm listening to these two readings because I want so-and-so to come back. And this person is someone that hurts you, abused you, stole from you. Like, <laughs> that's, that's not something that's meant to be. There's a devil binding there of some sort. You really need to go get some root work done because you are not meant to be with that person. You should not be with that person. And I speak that over you right now because that's not what's meant for you, okay? Your angels don't want that for you. Your ancestors don't want that for you. You can tell me your nana and, gra and grandpa and all that shit that they're in heaven saying, yeah, get with the toxic son of a bitch. She's like, come on, man. Get out of here. Okay, so that's not what we're talking about. Or it might be. It might be. And that might be why these cards, why why you're being led to, to stay away from this person that you keep obsessing over, thinking about constantly. Thinking, wondering if they're going to come back. Yeah, this is the sun card. This is my thing. Oh, so it came, I don't know if you saw that, just rewind it. But it came, it came out backwards. And that's my thing is like, this person is not, is, is not going to bring you joy. They're not meant to be with you. You are not meant to be with them. They are not meant to be with you. Look, look, this is you. You don't need none of this shit, man. You don't need none of this shit. Oh my God, I love this reading for you. Okay, so what's next for my beautiful, and this was also in the last reading. This is in the last reading. This depicted you as well like that. Also as the high priestess, it depicted you. The queen of swords standing in your truth, standing in your power. Unit, this person, yes. Okay, so what's, gonna, what's coming in next? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. This is what's coming in next. Look at that. Come on. You have nothing but abundance coming in. Straight up money, straight up opportunities, straight up desires being met. I mean, come on. Let's see what else is here. The world. Okay, we're going to cover her schmitties. Oh, kind of. The world card. Who is, who is that? It's you. That's you. What's coming into you? All kinds of opportunities. Oh, my gosh. The whole world is yours. The whole world is yours. Oh, and what? And this is coming in fast. Fast. These opportunities, these money opportunities, um, offers in love, they're coming from everywhere. And, and if it's not already happening, and I think you're already seeing signs and signals and omens and all that stuff, it is about to. And you can feel it in the air. And it's not just because it's Pisces season. It's because this is your season. This is meant to be your season. Okay. Let me take the one that came in first. So we have this. So again, you're about to be very content, 
very happy with your, and then, so what else can, oh, here we go. Oh my God. Oh my God. I can't, I can't. Oh, sorry. Like all fell out. So here's the thing with this nine, this, this nine of cups. Okay. Cause you also end it with a nine of coins up top on the first row. Okay. Now the next row, because this all started with the ace, the, the ace of, uh, of swords. And then the second row is the ace of, um, pentacles. And now we got the king of swords. This is all about truth. This is what you're meant to have. This is what you are meant to achieve. This king in particular is standing in the most um, traditionally regal and commanding position um, and stance on their throne. And it is butterflies behind it with the new beginning. Okay. I'm just saying there's a lot here. There's a lot here. I need you to notice the symbolism. Then we got the Hierophant, okay, letting me know that there is something official coming in, something divine, some, some kind of contract, marriage, whether it's marriage or a soul contract, a new soulmate or something, but this is, this is set, this is guaranteed, okay, this is waiting for you. And then what comes right after that? The Ten of Cups. Do they look happy or do they look motherfucking happy? Come on, this is what's meant for you. Not this person. Not this other person that we started this with. In the in the deck, this is what flipped the the this uh, wish fulfillment. It's a star card. That's too many cards. What else is waiting for Pisces once they let go of this person? start really i'm thinking even cord cutting ties okay cord oh my god it flipped it came out it came out i'll cover her schmitties look the the star card wish fulfillment after this ten of cups after this ten of cups you have everything you want coming to you look at this the nine of swords came out after that let me let's see about this because i already know what this message is right here and it's telling me that you need to, I get, I get that this is something, this is something troubling you. You lay awake thinking about this person. You literally sit there and you cry and you think and you're like, but I love them so much. I don't understand. I just feel so deep in my heart. It's an obsession. And you were meant to go through this because I believe that in the time that you've been separated from them, you have learned a lot more about yourself. You have honed in. There's a reason you're doing good on your finances. Because you finally, I mean, there was nothing else to work on. So, you know, it was your finances. So you just threw yourself into that. What else is Pisces dealing with right now as far as letting this go? This is my last reading too. Please read it. Please go to the previous reading. If any of this applies to you, you need to, okay? I should have just kept it running and done like a 40 freaking minute thing. Anyways, night, uh, not night, um, eight of swords after the nine of swords. This is what you're going through right now. This person doesn't look happy. You are binded. This person is binded. This person sees only swords, heartbreak. This person's heartbroken. Nine and eight of swords. What else is, is Pisces going through right now? Look at this. This fell out. Fucking page page of wands. You're staring into the distance. You might even be stalking this person. You're definitely looking at old pictures um, cell phone, on your cell phone or on whatever. But old pictures, messages, you go on their, on their profile. If you're blocked or you don't follow them, you at least go to see if they're status has changed if it's on facebook like as far as single married or if there's a new profile picture and they're with someone you're a fucking stalker vibe right now like that's what i'm saying none of this is healthy babe and i know you don't like admitting this i feel like there might even be friends that you've gone to that you can't even go to anymore about this because they're like i'm i'm not i don't want to hear nothing about this fool anymore what else is pisces going through when it comes to this seven of pentacles are you kidding me are you kidding me 
Look at this person. Do they look happy about all these options and monies and all? Right now, you should be celebrating life and in be and be in such a spirit of gratitude and appreciation and pride for what you do for yourself and others around you. And instead, you're like, eh, could be better. That's how this person looks. Eh, could be better. You could have a whole fucking roster of men and women. And, and you're still like, eh. This is not good. Not only because you shouldn't be in a heart, you don't deserve to be heartbroken, first of all, but now you're going into a vibe of being unappreciative of the things around you because you know you should be celebrating. Instead, you feel more content than ever. And that's fine being content. But in these situations, some of y'all are getting new cars, new houses, new job opportunities um, after a period of not having nothing, having a broke down car, having no car, having no job, having no nothing. Do you understand? You should be celebrating. Nothing should be holding you down. But this person is holding you down. Waiting for this person to return that is not returned yet is holding you back in more ways than you think. It is restricting you. It is binding you. You you really need to stay away from this. At the bottom of this energy is the Hermit card. That's you right now. Now you're focused. You're clearly focused. Okay, like this is what you want. But look at this vibe though. Come on, it's time. This is you right now. Okay. Well, I already told you what what happens if you walk away from this. <clears throat> what awaits you? But now I think you are being shown what, what will happen if you stay in this energy, if you do not let go of this, that this, you, I, now you know, this was a very clear and direct message. I personally didn't feel any kind of like energetic disruption in any of my translation from what I felt from spirit to being able to just tell you. This is out of control. This is so black and white that this person is not end game. Okay. You have for so much abundance to be soaking in right now. And, and you're not in the fin you're not at the end of your harvest season. This is the beginning. You have so much coming to you. Oh my reality is literally whatever you want to create it right now in your life. But this person, you have to let go of this past person that is not coming back. And for some of you, there might, this isn't for you. If someone, if a past person has come back and you're talking to them about, this is not for you. This is for someone that you still have yet to hear from them. No contact for a very long time. We're talking years. We're talking years. I'm, I'm not hearing months or weeks. But we're talking years. Okay. So I, you don't deserve this. You don't deserve any of this vibe you don't you deserve what i'm seeing here you deserve the fucking world yes you do you deserve it you deserve it okay Oh, Pisces. If you have any questions, you want to do a personal reading, you can contact me. Um, if you have questions that you feel comfortable putting in the comments, I don't mind answering in, in a next reading or something like that. You just have to actually ask it. Anyways, I love you. Please work on your heart chakra and your root chakra. Heart, heart chakra, root chakra. Um, please have more baths incorporate roses a lot more into all of your rituals rose water roses and maybe get buying roses for yourself from the store rose quartz wearing rose colored um clothing or accessories of some sort um is what i'm hearing you need to romanticize yourself in your life you are uh, uh you are so attractive right now and you're just walking around like Eh, I'm not a big deal. And you fucking are. You really are. It's such a shame. It's such a shame. You, you can't let this happen. This ain't, this can't be the end of your story. This cannot be how it ends for you. It can't. It can't. You fucking know it too. That's why you're reading. That's why you're listening to 
to me. Anyways, I love you. Mwah. So much. Be good out there. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Fuck this person. You have so much. Whew, when I tell you someone is going to come into your life that makes you forget any of this. That makes you feel like that really was a lesson. Validates why you walked away, but you got to walk away. You got to stop thinking about this person. You have to incorporate um, conversations with yourself is what I'm hearing. These conversations you have with yourself, like literally when you start thinking about this person, actively, consciously say, stop thinking about them. Stop thinking, about them. blah, 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 like, whatever it takes. But you got to stop with this. Okay, they're not coming back. Again, this is someone, haven't talked to them in years. No contact, nothing. Y'all don't even follow each other on nothing. Okay, I love you. Bye.